Cavalcade has the best soundtrack of any film ever. I will talk more about that in a moment, but first of all, this film is one that I became aware of because I'm currently watching every Best Picture Oscar winner, and this won the Best Picture at the Academy Awards 1934. And when I read the description of this, I thought it sounded very interesting, and just out of curiosity, it was up against 42nd Street, as well as A Farewell to Arms, I'm a Fugitive from Chain Gang, Lady for a Day, Little Women, She'd Done Him Wrong, Smiling Through, State Fair, In the Private Lives of Henry VIII. So it was up against quite a few films, but I think it's a deserved winner. It's a very complex, in-depth film, but also quite easy to watch. So this was released, of course, in 1933, directed by Frank Lloyd, with a screenplay by Reginald Barclay. Stars, among others, Diana Wimward, Clive Brook, and Edina O'Connor. And this takes place between 1899 and 1933, and it focuses on two families. One um, kind of upper class family, and one working class family. And it takes us through various events of those three, three or so decades, through the perspective of you know, high society and lower society, to want for a better term. And... It covers events like the Boer War, um, the death of Queen Victoria, which is one of my one of my favourites. I don't know if that's phrased correctly, but that moment with the funeral march and there's quite a funny line actually from one of the young boys at the end of that scene, which I thought was brilliant. Um, various other events, Titanic, things like that, things that would impact the whole country. This is set in England, of course, but things that would um, affect the whole country. And in a way, we see how it affects the different classes differently. But at the same time, it shows that regardless of what your social class, you will be affected by these events. So even though it may have different impacts on them in a more literal way, mentally and emotionally, everybody's going through this together, regardless of how much money you have in the bank or wherever you keep your money in 1899. And I think that's beautiful. And the fact that it covers such a vast stretch of time allows us to go into a lot of a lot of very dark events. It's very easy to forget how dark that time period was um, between kind of the early 20th century and 1933. It's quite intense, but there's still some comedy in there. Not much. It's not a comedy. It's more of a dramatic, war-led film. Um, but it's it's so fascinating and a great look at society and at culture and... The way the world is affected by the same things at the same times, it's a whistle-stop tour through the first third of the 20th century, through the eyes of two different families of different social status. And I think it's done exceptionally effectively. It is long. It's almost two hours. For the most part, it's engaging. I found that there was maybe one bit in the middle, maybe towards the end, that just wasn't very engaging. It dragged on a little bit. That didn't last for too long. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, the thing that I love the most is the soundtrack. The film opens with God Save the Queen. And I love that song. Well, sorry, God Save the King. Um, It opens with this song. And from there, we just get so many amazing songs. Um, Auld Lang Syne, um, When Johnny Comes Marching Home. One of my favourites, I do like to be beside the seaside, Rule Britannia, it's a long, long way to Tipperary, pack up your troubles, Yankee Doodle. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. This has one of the best uplifting, and over there as well by George M. Cohen. I love it. It is just, it's everything. The soundtrack to this is the best thing ever, and I absolutely adore it. And for that reason, Cavalcade definitely deserves best picture didn't win any soundtrack awards it also won best director and best art direction was nominated for best actress for diana winward um she didn't win that i think it's amazing it's rare that 30s film where i don't know any of the actors in it not familiar with the director that it can move me this much but it does and i love it if you haven't seen it watch it please i actually watched it on youtube um, I'm assuming it's out of copy right now, but either way, I watched it on YouTube. It's beautiful. 
stunning, inspiring, thought-provoking, poignant, everything I hoped it would be, and so much more.